This is the Skywatch Media News Special Report for March 20th, 2019. Nearly three months ago, a huge fireball exploded in the Earth's atmosphere over the Bering Sea. This was the second largest asteroid explosion in the past 30 years, and the biggest explosion since the highly publicized Shelobinsk fireball event of the year 2013. The space rock exploded over the Bering Sea with ten times the energy that was released with the Hiroshima atomic bomb. A fireball this powerful is rare and happens only two or three times in a span of 100 years. But why did it take nearly three months for this event to become public? The blast was picked up by military satellites and NASA was notified of the event by the U.S. Air Force. But the explosion went mostly unnoticed, primarily because of its location off of Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. NASA scientists have been collecting data on the event since its occurrence. So here's what is known about this celestial event in the Bering Sea. At about noon local time on the 18th of December, the asteroid plummeted through the atmosphere at a speed of 32 kilometers per second, or roughly 72,000 miles per hour, on a steep trajectory of 7 degrees. The object measured approximately 32 feet in diameter, and it weighed 1,400 tons. The space rock exploded roughly 16 miles above the Earth's surface, with an impact energy of 173 kilotons, which is the equivalent of 10 atomic bombs, which is also 40% the energy release of the Shelobinsk explosion that took place in the year 2013. According to officials at NASA's Near Earth Objects Program, the explosion over the Bering Sea was not reported by the media because of its location over water, where it would not have the same effect as an explosion over a populated area. However, the fireball made entry over an area not too far from routes used by commercial planes that are flying between North America and Asia. Scientists are indicating that they only recently pinpointed the location of the blast by coordinating the readings from infrasound stations that pick up low frequency noises that humans are unable to hear. A Japanese weather satellite picked up what appears to be smoke in the upper atmosphere caused by the explosion. The satellite imagery is showing the entry of a bright orange fireball against a blue and white backdrop. Back in the year 2005, Congress directed NASA to locate nearly 90% of near-Earth asteroids that are measuring 460 feet or larger, with a goal of completing the task by the year 2020. But scientists said they could not fulfill the directive for at least the next 30 years. Now, this is important to know, given that these large space rocks are a significant problem. If they should collide with our planet, they would affect entire regions. Although NASA has yet to fulfill the directive of Congress, they have been able to identify some incoming objects, and they have pinpointed their impact location based on a determination of its orbit. In June of 2018, an asteroid 10 feet in diameter was discovered by an Arizona observatory just eight hours before its impact. NASA made a precision determination of its orbit to calculate a likely impact location somewhere in southern Africa. Shortly thereafter, a fireball was spotted by security camera footage entering the Earth's atmosphere over Botswana. Fragments of that space rock were found scattered over the area. The event over the Bering Sea on December 18th indicates that larger objects can collide with the Earth without warning, 
suggesting the urgent need for an enhanced monitoring network, one that involves both ground-based telescopes and space-based observatories with infrared capabilities. For more than 100 years, Russia has been at the center of attention when it comes to asteroid and meteor encounters. On or about March 15th, an eyewitness filmed a glowing falling object in the night sky from his car dash cam near the village of Tora, in the north of Russia's Krasnoyarsk territory. At the time of the fall, the eyewitness claimed that the sky lit up brightly and became warm. The footage was captured near the impact site of the Tunguska meteor that struck the region in the year 1908. The impact of the Tunguska meteor was estimated as being as powerful as 185 Hiroshima bombs or 18 times as powerful as the asteroid explosion over the Bering Sea in December of 2018. Several asteroids, one of which is considered potentially dangerous, are crossing Earth's path at this time each being tracked by the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory as they approach our planet. On March 20th, a massive asteroid skimmed past the Earth at more than 38,000 miles per hour. The space rock known as 2019 CD5 was first observed on February the 4th and closely monitored leading up to its flyby. But the news of its approach to Earth was not made public for nearly a month. The space rock is 820 feet in diameter, making it one of the largest asteroids to pass Earth's orbit. The last big asteroid to pass the Earth was exactly one month ago on February the 20th, when an enormous space rock flew past our planet. The asteroid, measuring 1,500 feet in width, was traveling at an astonishing 60,000 miles per hour. Scientists have determined that asteroid CD5 circles the Sun once every three and a half years, with its orbital path inevitably bringing it near the Earth on occasion. In fact, asteroid CD5 has been regularly coming around for the past century, performing close flybys of Earth since the year 1906. Of all its close approaches over the past 113 years, the latest encounter was by far the closest one yet. Data indicates that asteroid CD5 came within 2.4 million miles of Earth, or 10 times the distance between our planet and the Moon. The space rock is expected to journey past the orbit of Venus and Jupiter before returning for another visit to Earth in late spring of the year 2026. Not to be outdone, on March 22nd, a house-sized asteroid dubbed 2019 EA2 will pass the Earth at a distance of 0.8 lunar distances, or roughly 190,000 miles, which is dangerously close when compared to the more distant flyby of asteroid CD5. EA2 was first spotted on March 9th by the Mount Lemmon Survey in Arizona. This space rock has an estimated diameter of 82 feet, which means it's slightly larger than the asteroid that penetrated the atmosphere over the skies of Shelobinsk, Russia on February the 15th of the year 2013. That asteroid, estimated to be 55 feet or 17 meters in diameter, caused a shock wave that shook six Russian cities and caused some 1,500 people to seek medical attention. EA-2 is an Earth-crossing space rock that orbits between Venus and the Earth. It is traveling through space at a speed of 12,000 miles per hour relative to Earth. Its next closest approach to our planet will not occur for another 112 years. The renowned astrophysicist Stephen Hawking, who passed away in March of 2018, touched the public imagination of millions of people, unlike few scientists in the modern era. Among his many teachings, there is one that speaks directly to all mankind, in which I quote, 
Remember to look up at the stars and now down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious, and however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do and succeed at. It matters that you don't just give up. Thanks for watching.